orchestrated against Uhuru Kenyatta and myself. Okay. We had people who were, um, who were hired to go to court here in Kenya after they didn't succeed at the Hague to stop us from running. We had people who were hired to go to court here in Kenya. They did not succeed. Hired by your political opponents? Absolutely. Okay. And we had all manner of schemes. In fact, we had a cabal at the OP who went ahead to register a political party called UDF and tried to orchestrate uh, a succession around UDF. Okay. President Kenyatta and I um, charted a course and we won against all those uh, cabals. Okay. This case, mm -hmm. Ken, was political in 2004 as it is now. Okay. And uh, the issues around that case are very clear. In fact, in the 2004 scenario, I didn't even have to defend myself because the case was so straightforward, it ended at no case to answer. I didn't even have to defend myself. There was lack of evidence. Because there was not lack of evidence. There was no case to answer because the case is straightforward. The debt belonged to Kano. The former president directed the Ministry of uh, Lands to give a piece of land to Kanu so that Kanu can pay a debt where KICC was being held by transnational as security. The land was issued, it was transferred, the money was paid, and every coin went to transnational bank. Okay. So okay. there was no case. In fact, the, the magistrate asked, if the money went to transnational bank and transnational bank have accepted that the money went to them, why is Ruto in court? Why, you know, why so is but, in court but, and all but, those but, people? But, but the, 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 because we have a situation, maybe you might want to know, Ken, that apart, aside from this case that has been resuscitated, um, I had a discussion with the Director General of NSIS late last year. And for your information, there are characters who have already sent people to Kenya to resuscitate the ICC cases okay. against me. So that's part of the cabal. So there is, you know, that concoction of people. In other words, we are likely to see even not, much, They much did not more succeed in the Moi case. Okay. They did not succeed in the Kibaki scenario. I want to tell you, okay. they will not succeed in this particular situation. In fact, their failure will be spectacular. I'm just wondering, uh, Your Excellency, why this particular case? I mean, they could have chosen to pick any case. Why would they pick this particular case that they was so spectacularly won in 2004? Why this particular case? You never know, Ken Mijungu. You never know what they are cooking. Is it maybe, it maybe there will be other cases. Okay. As I told you, they have already arrived at the ICC case. All they right. are already looking for witnesses around to say, oh, this case did not end properly. I don't know to what. Resuscitate because, the ICC. Because our, my political competitors want to make every effort to stop my candidature. Okay, but you realize, but you see, Your Excellency, you realize the ICC case was left open by, uh, by the prosecutor. It was not closed, so it can be opened. She left it open. She said when new evidence resurfaces, it shall be opened. But I'm, I'm still going back to this question, why this case? Because um, Your Excellency, with all due respect, a lot of land cases have touched on you. Is it, are you a, an easy choice, especially when it comes to a case leading with, dealing with land? Could that be the reason why it's easy for them to pick a land case, forgetting about the ICC? You see, when I, uh, I was a very easy target in the NAC administration, that's why they tried to look for a place. How do you slow down William Ruto? How do you stop uh, this man? But you see, all the cases, whatever it is that they have gone to court with, they have never succeeded. Okay. And if I was guilty of anything, I want to tell you, Ken, I wouldn't be sitting here. 
as the deputy president, of course. All right. The cabal, that's a big word, <laughs> the cabal. Who are the cabal? Because I'm looking at the DCI and I'm looking at an, a, an office holder, appointee of the president um, who can be hired and fired. You're part of the presidency. Who are the cabal? Who, who is within the cabal? It is not for me to tell you. I am sure your guess is as good as mine. All right, we'll come back to that question of corruption because it's a lot to discuss. But let's move to uh, the BBI because we'll come back to that. Are you in Mombasa over the weekend? The BBI, uh, Ken, is a people of Kenya pro project. It, uh, it, is, it is a program where every Kenyan, irrespective of your station, whether you are a Mamamboga, or you are a Makanga, whatever your station, this is your opportunity to make your contribution, to give your opinion, to give your suggestions on how to take Kenya forward. It is not a place where you ask me whether I'm going to Mombasa or whether somebody has allowed who to go to Mombasa or whether who has given what conditions to who to go to this uh, meeting or that meeting. People must stop arrogating themselves the prefecture okay. to say, I am the prefect, I'm going to decide who comes here, I'm going to decide who goes there. My friend, this is an open public uh, discussion. You can join today. You can join yesterday, you can join the next day. In fact, for your information, I have already talked to uh, Yusuf Haji, and I have told him the day they begin the, the, their hearings, I want an opportunity to go and present, before present the, okay. my ideas. Because I am seeing that after we had accepted BBI 1, and everybody said, well, this is a, a fairly good document. It captures everything from what the ordinary people want all the way to what the politicians want. But I see already the BBI too. Politicians want to hijack it. And they want to make it look like it is now a place where we are going to discuss positions. Okay. And how we are going to discuss sharing of positions. I want to tell you, that while there will be a discussion about positions, there must be a discussion about opportunity for other Kenyans, for ordinary Kenyans who don't have a job. What is their stake? How do, they, how do we, in a deliberate way, create jobs? How do we ensure that nobody is left behind? That is the discussion we must put on the table it cannot continue the way Without I that see discussion. it trying to continue. Okay. That we are going to discuss about this position, Prime Minister that, Deputy President this, and this position. So, but that's is that, it's not, is that going is, to be is that a yes? Is that a yes that you'll be in Mombasa on Sunday? I have told over you, the weekend. I have I have told you, Ken. Yes, that it is not for me to tell you whether I'm going to this meeting or that meeting. I am going to have a discussion with my boss. Yeah, and we will agree how, or, how, what the nature of attendance in any of these meetings because, in my opinion, we want the best possible chance. You know, explain to me, uh, Ken, honestly, how you are going to collect views in a rally. Just explain to me. How, how the rallies how, are meant how, how to edu educate because they are sending you, even committee you, you of have, experts you to have speak listened, to the crowd. You have listened to those rallies. I have listened you to, listened the, to rally. the rally in uh, Kakamega, the Kakamega. Reason? Yes. It was about Sugoi. Uh, which, which is it okay. was about William Ruto. <laughs> Your it Excellency will get How to that. will you put Sugoi and William Ruto in the final report of the BBI? Before they spoke about William Ruto mm -hmm. and Sugoi, mm -hmm. there were a committee of experts that were all on the podium <laughs> to share the perspective of the BBI <laughs> report with the people. My friend. They were there. It was, I think, 5% of Five, the meeting. But you admit they but were there. See, so th there's a discussion see, on the see, BBI. If, you know, if you are going to a meeting where 5% of the time is 
discussion on the subject. And 95% is, about is something insults else. and name calling. And, and you see, Ken, let's yes. be honest yes. with ourselves. Mm -hmm. There were people who believed and wanted to drive a narrative that William Ruto is going to oppose the BBI. In fact, some of them were dazed the day I said we support the BBI. They, 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 they said they have lost the opportunity because they there are people who have been looking for an opportunity to create camps. Okay. Much as we are talking about unity and inclusivity, there are people who are hell bent on creating camps okay. of yes versus As no. We are going when to discuss, they didn't get, going to when discuss they didn't get the that opportunity, just give me one minute. Yeah. When they didn't get that opportunity, they have gone to create rallies, right? But it was and the president make, who said, no, and they want it's to the make president these who rallies. Said that no. in January, you will be going out to sell this. It's the president who said The president at said every Kenyan should be given a copy to read, to read for yes. themselves, and politicians should not go and pretend that they know everything. Every Kenyan should be given a chance to read. And he In also fact, said, yes. these rallies are working against what the president said. But be that as it may, those who are driving these rallies believed that we, let's drive the rally so that we create a group of people who are attending the rallies and, and a group attending. of people who are not attending the rallies so that they achieve their original intention of creating camps. Okay. And I have told you, we will not give them an opportunity to create camps. We will not give them the opportunity to divide Kenyans. So we are going to attend the rallies. Okay. And every Kenyan is free to attend the rallies. And we want the Yusuf Haji-led committee to begin the hearings that are structured so that people can go and present their views in a structured manner. The rallies can continue with the, all the, the drama around it and with all the name calling if, if they must continue and with everything else, that's fine. But we must also have, uh, as was set up, the Yusuf Haji-led committee to present real opportunity for people to give their views so that we can bring on board the ideas, the suggestions of more Kenyans. After on, the rally on that this, happened uh, program. in Kakamega, yeah. you came out to castigate that rally, the rally that happened in Kisi. And you even questioned where they're getting the money to run around, selling a document that has no opposition in your own words. Correctly. Suddenly, you want to join them, mm. and you have forgotten the aspect of where are they getting the money to run around these rallies, and you're saying mm -hmm. you're going to attend. Mm -hmm. So where did we lose this aspect of where are they <laughs> getting the money? Mm -hmm. You forgot about it. This is my position, Ken. I still believe, up to now, that public resources should not be expended on these rallies. That is my position. Which is okay. And I am not sure whether public money is being used or not. But why did you if, say it? If public money is being used, yes. right? If public money is being used, then those who are using this public money will eventually, you know, uh, be called to account. Okay. If they have followed the due process, fine. If they will not have followed the due process, they must then come. they must answer. Y but you are you are telling your your let me answer your second part of your of your of your 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 uh, saying as if i changed my mind no yeah. no you, so you, you I spoke said, about resources you know, being as, wasted as, as, and as suddenly about resources yes being being wasted but i have said even as we attend the rallies it is my position that these rallies should not be organized using public resources good enough because good enough public resources on matters to do with bbi are domiciled with the haji committee Great. So you know, unless Haji Committee finances these rallies and a structured mechanism of how to collect views is, uh, is arrived at, then uh, uh, we, we, we must have it. We cannot have it both, both ways. ways. All right. Lastly, yes. let me also say the following. Because I think many Kenyans will believe, okay, did William Ruto change his mind? Exactly. Let me tell you. I have told you that as a leader in Kenya, I have a duty and a responsibility to look through schemes. When I realized that these rallies were being, were being made to achieve the us versus them scenario, which failed when we all supported BBI, I said we might, we're not going to give these people an opportunity to create 
and us versus them. Because okay. there are people who are looking for the opportunity to divide Kenyans on a document that every Kenyan has agreed to support. Okay. Number two, I saw that there was a scheme to try and adulterate and create uh, and, and, and hijack the BBI and make it something that Kenyans did not say. Do you mean ODM rallies? That's what you said. No, specifically. I'm saying these rallies. Yes. Yeah, much, but, I but mean, you call them ODM uh, rallies. 90 percent, as up until we begin to attend. Yes. 90 percent of the attendees have been ODM. ODM. Okay. Yes, that's All right. the reality. But, but there are so many people from your <laughs> government who attend the rallies. I don't think they are ODM. They are civil servants. I'm telling you. 90%, 90 of percent people who have been attending are your right. supporters. Let me flip the coin, uh, Your Excellency. Um, if these BBI rallies are being used to popularize ODM, mm. what if I said your inspection projects around the country were also being used as your campaign platform? You are using inspection projects around the country to campaign because your surrogates We'll talk about 2022, take, but you'll talk about lot, development. I talk, I talk a lot of exception to surrogates, please. Okay, Let's I withdraw. Use, uh, your allies, language. your allies, yes. <laughs> they go around and they're campaigning <laughs> for you for 2022, and you're say, they're saying you're Let political. Let me tell you, Ken, eh? there is a world of a difference. World of a difference between the meeting that I attend as deputy president and these rallies. A world of a difference. When I go to every place. There is no mobilization of people. It is not a rally. When I go to open a road, when I go to open a water project, when I go to launch, today I was in Embakasi West. Because of our 100% transition, we are building additional classrooms. I went to launch an addi additional classrooms in two schools. Those are not rallies. These, these are meetings about our agenda. Okay. Don't forget that I am deputy president, I earn a salary, and I have a job. You cannot, for one minute, say that when I go to do the job which I was elected by the people of Kenya to do, to oversee government projects, to make sure that I listen to Kenyans on the ground on matters either that are not working on priority areas that we have You're not campaigning. Uh, but factored. We have not factored. Do you agree with me that you... So this rallies yes. is mobilization of people for 12 hours, seated, listening to rumors and insults. That's about the, other, route. The, the other... The other... Uh, it's all of a different... My, my interest is this. It is a world of a uh, My interest case. is this. When you go to the public rallies with your allies... I never go to public rallies. I have never been to oh, When you rally. attend these forums, it's not a forum. When I just say, when you go and open the road, or you go and open the school like I did today. And you have a crowd, mm -hmm. and we have issues of politics being propagated on the platform. Is that not also doing politics, taking advantage of your role as the deputy president, and taking advantage of that platform my friend, that you have across the country my friend, to sell your agenda for 2022? My, my friend, you know, I am a part of the people who created this government. How can I take advantage of my own government? What are you saying? Because there are development you know, forums. This they, development forum yes. is, is, I'm not a stranger. I am the one as part of this government who has orchestrated. Which is and true. And for your information. Yes. If you are saying whether eventually the achievements of the Jubilee government will somehow be assigned to William Ruto. Of course, yes, they will be assigned to William Ruto, you know, and the Jubilee Party, because we are the initiators of these projects and programs. So if you are saying, I am taking advantage, I mean, <laughs> my friend, what are you saying? My concern was I am, more. Are you, my, are you saying my concern was I, should more, not, I should not benefit No, that's not what from, I'm saying. from the fact that the Jubilee administration is rolling out a transformational program in Kenya. Your Excellency, this that's not what I'm saying. led by Uru Kenyatta, myself as that's deputy president. That's not what I'm saying. Your Excellency, that's, what I'm, what not, that's <laughs> not what I'm saying. What I'm saying yes. is the same. I'm flipping the coin on you. Yes. This rally should be about BBI mm -hmm. and telling people what its contents are. Mm -hmm. And by the way, they don't have even the proper document. They haven't read it. Mm -hmm. So the politicians are telling them. Mm -hmm. 
I'm just flipping the coin. Mm -hmm. Don't you think the same advantage these politicians are taking on these platforms, the 90% mm -hmm. is perhaps the same advantage the people behind you are taking, not you, to campaign for you in your presence. And by the way, your boss has been concerned about this, about the political environment, about the politics that cannot see that goes on in the country all the time. My friend Ken, I challenge anybody in Kenya Every place I have gone, including where I was today, I am so clear in my mind what my assignment is. Okay. Today, for example, let me give you today. If you open the clip and you are patient to listen to my statement from start to finish, I was discussing about 100% transition, which is government policy. I was discussing about uh, the regeneration program of roads, which, which covers uh, Islands. I was discussing about the water problem in Islands where we are constructing a big pipeline worth uh, 1.5 billion from Kiambu to Embakasi. I was discussing about sanitation and I was informing the people of Embakasi that in June this year we will be going back there with the president because we have a 10 billion program for sanitation of 200,000 households in Eastlands. So basically that it is was the development. And I, and I do that in every meeting because I know what my job is. Your Excellency, I am paid the for concern it, is and not I you. I do with a lot of passion. Your Excellency, if it is not about it's me, not about you. if it's it is not about me, my brother, if it is not about me, forums. why don't you look for those people and ask them, why are you asking me the question? I'm looking for you to ask you, why do you allow them to do that on the platform? Because for you speak last. Why your, don't you challenge your, them not to do that? For your information, Many of these people are elected leaders in their own right. They are not my appointees. They are not my employees. They are not my employees. They speak sometimes issues about the people. And in fact, many of them articulate issues. They tell me, Mr. Deputy President, this road has told. Mr. Deputy President, you guys promised us electricity. We've gotten only so many uh, transformers. You promised us. Um, uh, uh, matters to do with expansion of uh, uh, universal health care. We haven't gotten this facility. We haven't gotten that facility. Okay. But you see, of course, the media chooses what to air. All right. right. And sometimes it's all politics, and people think that was all that was said. G good enough, uh, Your Excellency. Now that we are clear on the BBI, and yeah. I know <laughs> you will attend the BBI <laughs> forum, let's talk about the handshake <laughs> briefly. Has your position changed about the handshake? or you support the handshake? Why are you asking a rhetorical question? I, I, wa I want to know, has your position shifted now that you are supporting the BBI with the handshake? Because you believe that Raila Odinga came in to scuttle the Jubilee Party. And we'll talk about that. But has your position <coughs> changed about the handshake? Let me, let me tell you, uh, my friend. The handshake was a wonderful idea by His Excellency the President. And in fact, for your information, before the handshake came to be, it was a discussion that His Excellency the President had discussed with me, right? And we had agreed that uh, it's necessary to bring the political temperatures down. Uh, the Honorable Raila Odinga has reached out. And I have said before, and I will repeat again, even before the Honorable Raila reached out to Uhuru Kenyatta, he reached out to me. Do you regret not taking that handshake olive branch from Raila, uh, when Raila Odinga reached out to you? Do you regret not doing it? I don't regret. You don't? Because yes. I wanted as Jubilee, you know, I am not the leader of Jubilee. I am not the president, right? I deferred to Uhuru Kenyatta when we folded URP and formed Jubilee as a party. And Uhuru Kenyatta being president and being the leader of Jubilee, if there was any approach from any corner, it should be through him. And for your information, every time Raila Odinga reached out to me, I informed his you tell your president. Boss. Okay. All right. So uh, you support the handshake, but mm -hmm. as deputy president, we see a lot of times that uh, you're also frustrated with this handshake, especially... Uh, the people that perceive you as not pro-handshake. Um, <laughs> I've heard 
your allies speak about your frustrations. Today I want you to tell Kenyans if indeed you feel a little bit or at most some frustration with your own government. Because there are a lot of people who see you as an outsider of the handshake. Ken, you have talked so much about allies and these other people. You know, if you tell me who they are, I can help you so that I can arrange so that you can ask them. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> Please. This interview, this okay. interview is so between I, me I and you. I understand. I understand. I understand you, Deputy President. But these you, people you know the people allies. I'm speaking about. You know the people and I'm speaking about. Why don't you get an appointment and speak to them? That's why I said today I want you to tell me if mm -hmm. you as the Deputy President mm -hmm. feel frustrat frustrated mm -hmm. with your own government. Do you feel frustrated? Why would you come to that conclusion? Because you look frustrated, Deputy President. Oh, the way I... I the way you look, your body <laughs> language in public forum. You, you must look, be... You look you frustration, uh, frustrated. Are you... With your do own you government. have certain gifts, uh, Ken? <laughs> To try and uh, know how whether somebody is. All right, let me let me <laughs> let, let me bring which it which closer I'm not home. Aware of. When you complain about uh, civil servants who are taking advantage of being in the civil service and misusing their powers and even going to politics, ask the deputy president. Don't you think it's uh, beyond you, or beneath you rather, to complain about civil servants who I will assume you should be the supervisor of the government business? When you talk about them and we look at it in terms of you are frustrated by what they are doing and instead of addressing them in your boardrooms, you address them in political rallies. Don't you think probably from the outsiders you have tried to correct this from the boardrooms and you're unable and then you have to take it to the political platforms? So are you saying, Ken, because there was a circular issued by the head of public service that uh, ministers and public uh, servants should not participate in politics around the BBI. Are you saying that is a sign of frustration as well? No. So? I'm concerned so with what you say yeah. in the platforms. That's what mm. concerns me. Mm. The, the, the like, circular memo like, is okay. Like what? Like complaining that civil servants are taking advantage of their positions and using it for unintended reasons. Like if you want me, name, you have named your team, not yeah. you again. Yeah. Your team has named uh, Kibicho, Karanja Kibicho. They've named Fred Matiangi, mm -hmm. and they've accused them of misusing their powers. They've been explicit on this. You see, I, I, would, uh, I would really want us to keep this interview as between me and you. My, these people you call allies, they are leaders in their own right. You can invite them for an interview, and you can ask them. All right. So you are not frustrated by any civil servant. Even if you speak about it, it's because of an extension of the circular that was made. And you're just telling them Absolutely, this is Absolutely, it is my position, and I have voiced it, that public servants should serve the people of Kenya. But why and on the platform, Your Excellency? Why but, on political but what platform? Is, what is wrong with that? Why don't you address it in the boardroom? What, what is wrong with saying it in public? Because it looks because as though that you're is complaining the official, to the public. That is the official position. You, you, you know, look it is like not, you're It is not something... We are, we are hiding under the, under the carpet. The president has said so in public. It doesn't show, it doesn't mean uh, uh, it is a sign of, uh, for example, the other day when the president was at addressing the security agencies, he said, whoever is uh, going to mess up in one station will not be transferred to another station. Exactly. I mean, so we communicate in public. There is no, there is, there is no big story there. Okay. The other issue is when you began your journey with the President Uhuru Kenyatta, yep. we saw a lot of friendship. We saw a lot of bromance, if I may call it, colloquial language. There's a lot of love. You were in matching shirts and ties. And at one time, you were even holding your hands. Called press conferences to announce the cabinet. You were right there. Deputy President, we have a feeling that that friendship between you and the President is gone. The bromance is gone. The love is gone. Mm -hmm. Ken, I have heard many stories, and I have read many headlines. The marriage is, uh, 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 has died. Uh, bromance and love. My friend, Uhuru Kenyatta is married to Margaret. 
I am married to Rachel. There is no marriage of business here. We were elected people of Kenya to do a job. Yeah? Uhuru Kenyatta as president, me as his assistant. Right? What you should be asking me is, are you delivering on the job that you are given by Kenyans? Kenyans. I'm going to ask you about that, Your Excellency. So, style, what, you know, what you're saying is neither here nor there. It is, because it that's is, what it the is, picture you is, showed us, Your Excellency. Again, that's you the have gone you back, us. you've gone back to you, these skills you have, reading, I, I, I don't know, you know. But it's the truth. <laughs> it's no longer there. It's no longer there. That's according to you. Yeah? That's according to you. Is there a point that um, you have heard that yeah. perhaps you are fighting the president? You're against the president. Have you heard this narrative? <laughs> I have heard. Yes. Are you, fighting, heard. are you fighting the president? For your, just before, before I, uh, by way of answering. Yes. Many of the people who are running this narrative, William Ruto does not respect Uhuru Kenyatta, the president. William Ruto is against the president. William Ruto is fighting the president. These people, many of them, are people in NASA. People who have never voted for Uhuru Kenyatta. Let me tell you, Ken, where we began with Uhuru Kenyatta. I knew Uhuru Kenyatta in 1998-1999. For your information, even the first time for Uhuru Kenyatta to come to parliament, as a nominated member. The former President Moi sent me to Makto to resign so that Uhuru Kenyatta can be nominated, nominated as a member of parliament. And Uhuru Kenyatta knows I had a rough time with Makto persuading him and he gave me a list of conditions and I explained to the former president and I explained to Uhuru Kenyatta. That's how far back I go. For your information, in 2002, when former president decided that Uhuru Kenyatta is going to be our candidate, very many people in Kenya gave lukewarm support. I stood by Uhuru Kenyatta up to where he conceded. Let me tell you a story. When we were sitting in State House, as the results came in, we were almost 50 members of parliament. But when the time came, for Uhuru Kenyatta to go and make the concession speech. We left, we left State House 50, we arrived Serena 3. Only? Only. Okay. And one of the three was yours truly, William Ruth. Who was the Let other me one? also tell you. Yeah, you have the clip, you will see. Let me also tell you. When 2017 and 2013 came, yeah, and Uhuru Kenyatta was looking for somebody to support him. Kalonzo Musioka refused. Musalia refused. Even Eugene refused. The only serious politician who was willing to cede his ambition for Uhuru Kenyatta was William Ruto. The arrival of Raila Odinga. And, and you see, yes. so if, if you are talking about respect, surely if there is one person who has supported Uhuru Kenyatta at every turn, the only people who maybe have done more for Uru Kenyatta in terms of political issues is maybe Margaret, his wife, who uh, supports him and members of his family. There is no politician who has supported Uhuru Kenyatta more than myself. Again, I'll go back to this. And, and so all these uh, shenanigans and stories being peddled by people who are insulting Uhuru Kenyatta the other day with all, calling him all manner of names you know, calling him all manner, of, all manner of names. Today, they want to give me a lecture on how to relate on with supporting the Uhuru Kenyatta. Surely, honestly, give me a break, please. Wh while you have unfeated, while you have respected <laughs> the president, yeah. again, I'll go back to this and I'll mention it. The people you work with mm -hmm. still attack the president on the podium and demand, make demands which look like they're doing it on your behalf. You see, again, you are going to people and allies. And these are not b babies. They are not my employees. These are people who you 
Why don't you stop Ken them, Michungu. Deputy President? When, when, when you, Ken Michungu, yes. can deal with them. Why don't you stop them? And you see, yes. this is the narrative that has been sold. Yeah, that has been that is being sold by the media. Or oh, you know, these people don't respect Uhuru Kenyatta. But we don't put words in their mouth, Your Excellency. They speak. The president. They speak. Let me tell you. If there is respect, if there is loyalty, that must be displayed. There is nobody who has displayed loyalty to Uhuru Kenyatta and respect. For would you extend would you better than myself? Would and for your information, yes. being a Christian myself, I know very well that Uhuru Kenyatta is not president by mistake or by default. President Uhuru Kenyatta is president today because God has ordained so. Why and would I you have stop a duty, these people, Deputy and president? I have a duty to make sure that I respect the president. I am loyal to the president. Your Excellency, that's and not in dispute. My question is, you speak last. These are the people. These yes, I will not speak about them. These are the people. You speak last. Why don't you, why don't you go and ask them? You speak last. Why don't you correct them? You I speak think. last in every forum. Why don't you, you just tell you them will, what you, you said about you, my you, boss you is not You will right. be surprised as to how much war I have with all these people. Okay. And even if you ask them, you know, even if you ask them, more often than not, I actually want to speak and finish the meeting even before other people speak. In fact, many of the times they complain that they are harassed, that they are told you cannot say this, you cannot speak for long, you cannot make this demand. I have gone out of my way. But you see, you're you can dealing, control them. You are dealing with, with politicians. You are okay. dealing with people who have their own minds and heads. And for your information, please, why doesn't everybody carry their cross? Which is true, why, but I'm asking you, you in that spirit, you, in that spirit of respect, and to you, carry the cross you, the senior most people. politician in the Jubilee government after President Uhuru Kenyatta, correct? In terms of rank, correct? Because you speak last, and this is the last time I'm asking you this question, <laughs> and you say they don't listen to you, would you stop working with them? Because the crowd that is always behind you is the same crowd all over. Let Why me don't ask you, you stop let me, let me working tell you, with them? Let me tell you, my friend, more often than not, maybe you think, you know, there is this narrative that William Ruto is working with this, is going around with this person, William Ruto is paying money, in fact, I've heard those stories, paying this one to come to this meeting, paying this one to come to this meeting. My brother, I go to many meetings. When I go to the coast, you will find that it is members, it is mem members of parliament from the coast who are there. When I go to Mount Kenya, it's members of parliament from Mount Kenya who are there. I never carry anybody from any other corner. Okay, but right. the, uh, so let us let us be, you know, let us l put this to rest. All right. I have told you my position. Okay. I have told you these other people are grown-ups. Go look for them. Ask them this That's question. question. I'm Good enough. Good enough. Uh, Your Excellency, time to take a short break. But we still have a lot to discuss because the issue about the deputy president and his relationship with uh, the president, who he calls his friend, is not yet over. So when we come back, I still have one or two questions about <laughs> your relationship <laughs> with uh, <laughs> President. When are we going to discuss about uh, the We are going the to discuss. So we have time. We, we, we have time. We're going to discuss that. Let's take a break. We're back from Karen.